Hello there, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you are new to my gang, welcome to this channel. The videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So please do check out the other videos as there is some serious info on this channel that is widely unknown, mind-blowing, and can really, really help a lot of people reach their health, wellness, and body image goals far easier than they might have thought possible and in a way that's likely far more enjoyable than they thought was possible as well. Today is going to be all about what is in my pantry. Last week's video was a full day of eating when my fridge was completely empty. And so I did get some messages saying, I wanna know what is in your pantry. Please do a bigger pantry tour. So we're gonna have a pantry tour today. I am 80% to actually I would say I'm about 90% optimally healthy and 10% I treat myself. I will go around 20% if I want. If you are eating 80% optimally healthy in your day-to-day -day lifestyle, 20% of the time you can treat yourself. Unless you do have a condition, health and looking good should never be about being 100% totally strict if that is not enjoyable for you. Once upon a time in my life, it was enjoyable for me. So that's how I lived. I lived in BC. I was 100% optimally healthy in every area of my lifestyle. And you know what? I did move back to Ontario and I found I just wasn't as happy. And I wasn't as happy even in BC eventually living like that. It worked for me for a time. I settled into a really nice 80-20. I reached my goals in body image, in my weight, in how I feel, in my overall health. I reached my goals. And so I thought, you know what? I can maintain this now quite easily on an 80-20 lifestyle. And you can even reach your goals on an 80-20 lifestyle. I have all kinds of tips and tricks and help for you. You can check out my website, it's kickitwithkelly.com. And again, the other videos on this channel will help you there as well. So without further ado, let's get into this pantry digging. I am a pretty organized person, but my pantry is kind of just, you know, everything's in there, but you'll see. Here's what my pantry looks like. Nothing is in specific sections. We'll start with the bottom shelf, oats. I use oats a lot. I use it in baking. I love to eat oatmeal, etc. These are Bob's Red Mill wheat-free certified oats. The reason why I do buy Bob's Red Mill is because oats do not contain gluten themselves. However, in the processing of the oats and the plants, there is a lot of cross-contamination, so much so that they do have an inflammatory effect as well as wheat. Can't win, don't try. So I like to stay safe and just stick with the certified wheat-free kind. I like to bake. I like to make healthy versions of everything sweet and treats that I like. I fear you're underestimating the sneakiness. We've got some organic baking powder. I also put this in my pancake mixes to make them extra fluffy. This basket is full of all of my baking goodies. So we got flax meal, pumpkin seeds, Camino chocolate. I will link below an awesome recipe I have for peanut butter chocolate bars. Oh my lord, they're optimally healthy, candida friendly, anti-allergen, anti-inflammatory, absolutely freaking delicious. Chopped almonds, all kinds of different flours. I bought a bread machine. It's amazing, but if you know of a paleo bread recipe that's a little on the lighter side, uh, for example, I made this paleo gluten-free, fantastically healthy bread. Each slice was over 300 calories. Not that I'm concerned with the calories, but just to let you know how dense this bread was, each slice about an inch thick must have weighed. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. It was so dense, it was so heavy. Don't nobody wanna lift no heavy ass weight. It sat in my tummy like rocks. So if you do have a light paleo bread recipe, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate that. So anyway, yeah, I bought all these flowers. We got some arrowroot starch. This, yeah, these are both arrowroot starch. This is such a mess, honestly. Some shredded unsweetened coconut. Brown rice flour. What the heck is this? Tapioca starch. Sweet white sorghum. 
flour, almond meal, coconut flour, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, I forgot I even had those. We have here some more almond flour, cream of tartar, some more gluten-free baking powder. Oh, and this also is corn-free. That's really important. The most inflammatory substances are wheat, barley, rye, corn, soy, dairy, and alcohol. So I like to buy baking powder that is also corn free. I didn't even know you could find this stuff, but it's awesome. It's by El Pedo, El Pedo. I say tomato. I say tomato. Gluten-free experts, I don't know, but I guarantee Amazon would have that. Some more baking powder, as if I need any more baking powder in my life. Oh, it's too much. And then some yeast. We have some quick rise yeast and traditional active dry yeast for making my bread. And I'm also making a giant mess. Look at that. Y'all are helping me get more organized. Okay, pastas. I love a good healthy pasta. I have so many options. I have not tried these ones yet. This is sweet potato and buckwheat noodles. Brown rice spaghetti, rice noodles, rice paper. If you take veggies, wrap them up in here like tight little rice veggie wraps. You can dip them in sweet Thai chili sauce. Oh my goodness, it's such a good snack. Bread crumbs. I love making my own chicken nuggets. I also make a really mean chicken parmesan. Green split peas, because I like to make pea soup. My favorite pea soup in the world is Amy's Organic Split Pea Soup. It is 100% healthy. Nothing crappy in here. It's all veggies and spice. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Dates. If you get medjool dates and cut them, stuff them with almond butter, <gasps> Amazing breadcrumbs. The reason I didn't like this one so much is it only has two ingredients, cornmeal and sugar. So that's garbage. Not so much a fan. Olive oil, always handy. Xyla. Okay, so xylitol is a sugar substitute. It is one to one ratio. So that makes it very easy for baking. I do not recommend using xylitol in things like coffee or tea and spoonfuls like that because it can give you diarrhea and no amount of coffee or tea is worth that. So just be careful. Also, xylitol is poisonous for pups, so please don't give your dogs anything with xylitol in it. So anyway, yeah, I use it in some baking. I haven't used it in actually forever. I do prefer stevia, stevia, however you wanna pronounce it. Pancake mix. I love trying different gluten-free pancake mixes. I haven't tried this one yet. My absolute favorite one in the history of the world is this one. This is Pamela's. This is awesome for crepes. It also makes waffles. Number one best selling. I can attest to that. This is 100% organic traditional egg pasta. Organic black bean fettuccine noodles. It makes your pasta black, so I don't know if you have a problem with that. Mm, I don't know. These two spaghettis. You can trick any non-wheat free, non-gluten free person with these two. They will not know the difference. So this is Pasta Joy Tinkiata says on it. It's got a little rabbit on the package. So I always know it by the purple package with the rabbit on it. So it's brown rice. Gogo -Go Quinoa makes all kinds of noodle shapes. It is amazing. The ingredients are quinoa and brown rice. So it does have more protein than an average brown rice pasta. And that covers the bottom shell. Just before we continue on to the top shelf, I do get a lot of questions on what my diet is exactly. I am not a vegan. I am not vegetarian. I'm about 95% paleo. I am gluten-free on a daily basis. However, if I am out with my friends having a good time or enjoying a nice meal or something, I will indulge in some gluten every now and then. I am dairy-free. I am pretty strict about the dairy-free. I do have dairy rarely. It's usually goat cheese if I have any kind of dairy substitute. Um, I use cashew milk. I do enjoy Breyers low-calorie ice cream on occasion, but generally dairy-free. So some of my friends laugh and just call me the vegetarian that eats meat. If I am out for a burger or a hot dog somewhere, I generally just prefer the veggie dogs and the veggie burgers. I don't, I'm not even sure on how to really explain why. I just do. I just I prefer those. You're not making any sense. But I did go through a long time being on a candida cleanse 
and a huge sugar detox. I am well averse in all of the substitutes and recipe hacks. I do have some awesome vegan and vegetarian recipes on this channel, so you can check those out. And also, speaking of that bacon bucket, I am going to link below probably the most popular recipe that's on this channel thus far. And it is gluten-free, dairy-free, no-bake, very healthy morning breakfast cookie recipe. Ugh, to die for. Anyway, that's linked below. Let's get to this top shelf goodness. See, I repurposed my Bath and Body Works containers because why not? They make awesome little pantry containers. They've got the rubber lids. Has an awesome little seal. Green tea, black tea. This was given to me, maple nut instant oatmeal. This is not certified wheat free, but for an easier than that guy oatmeal. I do have that now. Dried fruit is awesome for oatmeals and whatever else. This is vinegar, because it's so much easier to just put that on your fries. I make a lot of fries at home. I bought this air fryer. Cannot describe in words how amazing that air fryer is. I make fries in about maybe 12 minutes, so good. The previous video on my channel from last week does show me using it to make fries. This is not dairy free and I haven't eaten it yet. I picked it up because it's gluten free. It spirals with butter and Parmesan. So that just sounds unbelievably delicious. Whole grain, 80% organic ingredients. <gasps> wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, this isn't even, Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. This is not even gluten free. <sighs> anyway, I guess it's just organic, which is, that's great. Tea bucket. How much tea is too much tea? I love different kinds of teas. This was introduced to me in BC. This is an awesome stone ground tea that you can use to wake yourself up naturally. If you are trying to avoid caffeine, I recommend using yerba mate, which is a natural stimulant. Berries are stimulants, apples are stimulants. You don't need to have caffeine. Take it from me. Caffeine withdrawals, no joke. You can chew on coffee beans, which sounds disgusting. Dark chocolate covered coffee beans, healthier way to sort of wean off. I do have a lot of clients that have fibromyalgia or polymyalgia, and I highly recommend coming off caffeine to overcome those. Anyway, Back to this pantry, I go off on tangents. I digress, sorry. I don't know who doesn't love Nutella. I love Nutella. I will not eat regular Nutella because the ingredients scare me. This is Justin's Chocolate Hazelnut Almond Butter. It's delicious. I have canned beets. Okay, look at the dust on here. Can you see that on the camera? Oh, I haven't even used these. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Ugh. I don't know. Refried beans, these are awesome in a salad, believe it or not. I do top some of my salads or a little bit on my salads. I will put refried beans or hummus, basmati brown and wild rice. I have brown rice up there. I love the Cracker Barrel, so. I love Southern waitresses at the Cracker Barrel, man. How are the biscuits and gravy? Oh, they make you wanna slap your mama. How are the pancakes? Oh, they make you wanna hit your daddy with a baseball bat. Do you have a less violent menu I could take a look at? I don't wanna hurt anybody, I just want some food. I was gifted the rice container. These are quinoa flakes. This is what I was using in place of oatmeal when I was trying to be extra. Not a good substitute, to be honest. More coconut flour. I don't need any baking things forever. This is matcha. I became obsessed with having matcha lattes in BC, so I learned how to make my own matcha latte at home. If you're jonesing for a homemade matcha latte video, let me know down below. Otherwise, I just buy them when I'm out now because Seriously, it was a pain in the royal. Ain't nobody got time for that. I always have soups on hand. Thai sweet potato. I haven't even tried this one, but I love soups. And these are my favorite wheat-free go-to wraps. So these are turmeric coconut wraps. Listen to the ingredients. Coconut meat, coconut water, unrefined virgin coconut oil derived from organic coconut and turmeric. Seriously bomb. Very good for you. So now we're gonna move up top to the pantry cupboards I've got going on 
on over here. Here we go. Cacao nibs. I bought these by accident, to be honest, when I thought I was buying cacao powder. Obviously, got enough cacao powder going. This is psyllium husk. Cacao nibs, though, were pretty good in baking. I don't mind putting them in oatmeal. Cacao powder, I put in my smoothies. This was ungranola that I made. So ungranola is just a grain-free granola. It's made with nuts and seeds. It got a little burnt. Linked to the recipe for the ungranola below. Some nutritional yeast. This is an awesome substitute for Parmesan cheese. Honey, organic. I don't really use that either. Mary's Original Crackers. Mary's Crackers are so good. I prefer them to any cracker that contains gluten. Kodiak Cakes. I was hearing all about these. It's 100% whole grain, so it's not gluten free, but there's so much protein. So these are for protein pancakes. There are 14 grams of protein in about three, four inch flapjacks. Psyllium husk powder. It's an awesome little addition to shakes. Keep your intestines nice and cleaned out if you know what I'm saying. PB and me. So this is a powdered almond butter, 90% less calories. So if I am cutting or such, I'll use this 50 calories for two tablespoons as opposed to other almond butter. So this almond butter is 210 calories for two tablespoons. So you see how they are so much more calorie friendly in powdered form, but in the powdered form, you are missing all of the healthy fats, the good fats that we want and need and that keep us full. So I will prefer the healthy fat filled natural nut butters instead of the powdered version. It is easier to throw the powdered version into a smoothie though. This only has 3% fat, just not so great. So more Bath and Body Works containers. I've got granola bars in here. Go Macro is my favorite, favorite bar. They are insanely expensive. Expensive. Insane. I got these made good bars, gluten free. These are delicious. It's like a snack bar. You don't get much protein in these guys. Gluten free Love Crunch granola bars, dark chocolate and peanut butter kind bars. These little minis, they're awesome to just chuck in your purse on the go. Super tiny, but just as a little snack. I'm obsessed with snacks. <laughs> Um, this is what I use in my oatmeal. Organic nutmeg, organic cinnamon, and organic ground cumin. Cumin, like I've said in many videos before, has amazing fat burning effects. They have done studies where they have taken people, two groups of people, same profile in their body and health, and the group that used cumin lost more fat than the other group, eating all the same with the same activity. Everything spice. Oh my gosh. Normally this is called everything but the bagel. It is so so unbelievably delicious. I got this at Winners or Home Sense. And a tiny tip on spices. All non-organic spices have been irradiated and it feeds into the bad gut bacteria that we have. This overgrowth of candida that more than 90% of us in the Western Hemisphere have. So I really do recommend to be pretty strict on your spices being organic. It's so much healthier for you. And the flavor is amazing. They'll last you way longer. A lot of people say, well, organic food is way more expensive. I agree. It's expensive. But if you are eating organic food because of the nutrient density of those foods, you actually need 30 to 60 percent less food. And I do have a video linked in the description box below on how to eat optimally healthy on a tight budget. I got you. This is date syrup. And then we've got some chocolate powdered peanut butter. This is coconut flavored vegan protein. Vegan proteins plus here. When it comes to vegan proteins, watch out. These were given to me. Do watch out because vegan pea protein can really bloat you out, can give you a lot of gas all day. So, you know, if you're going on a first date, I would caution against trying pea protein for breakfast. I do like to use hemp protein or brown rice regularly. Pockets of stevia, awesome for traveling. We got vegan greens, because sometimes, you know, I just want an extra kick on those veggies. If you're taking supplements, please watch out on the greens, because you could be overdoing it on the calcium. If you are using something like that vegan greens, powder, you really want to make sure that you're not also taking calcium supplements and you're also eating calcium in your food. If you do have too much calcium in your diet, your body will actually leach from your bones, which can lead to osteopenia and osteoporosis. Just make sure you're sticking around 1200 milligrams of calcium per day. You really don't want to go too far over that. Here we've got more cacao powder. I like a chocolate shake. This is stevia, just loose powder instead of the packets there. Psyllium husk. That's a little 
not healthy for you foam topping I wanted to try for homemade teas and such. I don't, it tastes kind of like chemicals. And this is a spray that I use avocado and coconut oil. The spray is just so much easier. The snack cupboard. <laughs> These are mints made with that xylitol that I was showing you. This is chocolate that was brought to me from Switzerland. Okay, pop chips are my favorite. I absolutely love pop chips. So healthy for you. You can have about a bazillion of them for way less calories. This. I wasn't a fan of coconut jerky. The taste was just super off. I'm just, no, not a fan. Rice cakes or crispy minis. What do you even call these? Crispy minis. So delicious. Here's where I'm bad. I got poppable sea salt. Delicious poppables. Oh my gosh. I just love Lay's products. Some Lay's wavy. Yum. Like I said, not 100% healthy but it's rare when I do get into the snack cupboard. And I don't know, should we continue on with the vitamins? Do you all wanna see the vitamins I take? Supplements, it's part of the pantry, I guess, right? So here's what's in my vitamin and supplement cupboard. I have got echinacea, vitamin C, and garlic. If you feel the symptoms of a cold coming on, take all three of these together at the first sign of symptoms three times a day, all three of them, and this cold will not get you. I have not been sick. I can't remember the last time I don't get sick. Um, this helps you sleep. It has calcium as well. This is a magnesium supplement, so it's great to help you sleep and lower any anxiety. Cranberry, calcium, D3, B12, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. I don't take all of that calcium together, by the way. Cranberry and fish oil. Fish oil is super important to take, especially if you had ancestry that lived close to the equator, you do need fish oil, more fats and oils, omega-3s in your diet. Trust me on that. Again, I will link below a video that talks about the best diet you've never heard of and why following in your ancestors' footsteps in terms of macronutrients is the best way to go for automatic weight loss and health. Every day, I am taking calcium three times a day, adds up to 1,200, two vitamin Ds, one in the morning, one at night, adds up to 2,000, B12, two capsules of fish oil, one in the morning, one at night, and a cranberry. There you have it. That was the tour of what is in my pantry, what are in my cupboards. If you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please do give it a thumbs up for me down below. That really does help support me and my channel. Please, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. And if you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that notification bell icon down there and you'll be sent a notification each time I upload. Please share this channel because like I said, the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. You can check out my website, kickitwithkelly.com. My Instagram is linked below as well as my Facebook page. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun enjoying what you're eating no matter what. If you want any help with that, please do message me. It's my pleasure to help anyone with enjoyment of reaching a healthy goal weight, a healthy life, healthy body, healthy mind, and all of the above. So until next time, see you then. Bye.